What's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Ball on the budget himself. We back out of another video. Let's go. Hey man, say hey man, what's going on YouTube? We back out with another video. It's your boy Mr. Ball on the budget, man, coming from the Middle East. Today's video, we got an update on Darius's car, man. So I'm just gonna get straight into the video. Of course, my old lady recorded the video for me. I'm gonna put y'all back on when the video is over. So watch the full video. I did a slideshow of pictures, and then I'm gonna be at the end of the video to y'all the next steps. So go ahead, watch the video, man. Stay tuned. What's up, YouTube? We are here at the Norris and Motorsports shop again. Um, Darius's car is still here, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Um, it's real windy and rainy out, so hopefully, um, don't know lights go out or nothing on us. <laughs> but yeah, we are here. Go ahead. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Okay, YouTube, we are back with another video. Uh, sorry guys, it took so long for me to get this out for y'all, but we are here and we are here looking at Darius's car. There's been some additional work done to the car since the last time we've been here. Junior's hiding from me, but I'm going to go and get him in a second to kind of explain us what, what he's done so far okay guys i found mike from hiding from me so <laughs> okay mike what have you done so far to darius's car since the last time i came to visit from last time we had to get the turbo flange gasket installed and we got that installed and that's over here that is Can over I here so you probably won't be able to see it because it's down here where it bolts to the, the okay. exhaust side it's where the hot side meets the turbo okay got that installed and then the next thing was getting the engine oil system primed because this was a brand new fresh engine Okay. And you don't want to crank it over fresh without it being pre-oiled. So okay. basically we pre-oiled it, got everything hooked back up. And there was a, just a few loose wires I had to get connected. Mm -hmm. Got those connected and it got to run for the first time last Friday. What? You said the car is running? Yes, it is running. Wow. Okay. Do you think that we could hear that? I could probably, uh, yeah, I could probably fire it up. Okay. The guys would like that. Yeah. Um, let me make sure I have everything still hooked up. Wow, guys, you heard that. He got a little oil pressure, sound it's like. Still, obviously the tunes not completed so that's why it runs a little little roughish but for a first start that's it's good with good in my eyes yeah so you still got to do some more tweaking to it and yes I okay i basically still mike still got to finish the tune on it okay and as of right now i'm finishing up the coolant side mm -hmm. building the radiator hoses i got to finish building the power steering lines for it There's and a, where just what, a, what you said the radiator hose yes yeah, so i got the upper one built Okay. And it's on, and then I was building the, the coolant bypass. That's why I was in the middle of building just now. Okay. I still got the lower to build. Where's that? The lower will go from the thermostat housing down to the, the bottom side of the radiator. Okay. And then I got the power steering lines over here to finish up from the box to the, to the pump. I actually have the pressure side line made. I just don't have it on yet. That's on my agenda to do today is to get it. Install. Now you said the line. Could could we? Which one is that? Or can you not see it? Uh, you can't see it. It's, okay. I got it laying over here. Oh, okay. But it will literally go from this side of the box to the back of the pump. Oh, okay. Okay. So you've done a little bit of a little bit of work. You got us cranked up. Um, 
because it wasn't doing that last time I was here. Um, anything else you've done over here that you haven't already mentioned? I know you still, you were working. I kind of interrupt you <laughs> today. <laughs> Not yet. There's just a few things that we just have to button up and finish up. Okay. So it's close. It's very close to where he wants it at. So. Okay. And so about how many hours would you say that you have in right now? Right now, I probably got about 46, 48 hours wrapped up in it. Okay. So you've been working. Yes. You've been working. I've been working. Okay. Look at that turbo right there, guys. You can see it in the headlight. Mike's lifting her up for us. I said Mike, you're, you're Junior, not Mike. Easily confused. I always feel like I got a duck. Is where I located his transmission cooler at. Okay. Where on Joe's car, I mounted it in the front. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So if you remember that, his yeah. was mounted in the front. And since the intercooler was mounted pre on this car, there was no room for it. So his is mounted up underneath the car. And the fan will be switched to where it will pull the air instead of pushing the air. Wow. Okay. What else? Is anything else under here that the people need to see? Um, if, I mean, if they just want to see how the fuel systems ran, you could follow along where the fuel lines were in but show me where that is so they start from coming down from here from the engine and then follow all along the frame hopefully i don't hit my head yeah just don't hear you <laughs> and then the pump is mounted here and here's the pre-filter so the filter if they're paying attention the filter up there is the post filter okay. this is the pre-filter okay junior go ahead so just to inform the people just a little bit, when I did the trans cooler on Joe's car, I used aluminum line. And the reason for that is where the cooler was mounted at. There, it, there was nothing wrong using aluminum line, but here on Darius' car, since the cooler is mounted underneath the car down here and the weight of everything, I ended up using stainless line on his lines back here just because of the weight. Is that what this is, right? Yes. Up in there. So all these hard lines, that's all stainless steel versus being aluminum line. And was there a particular reason you did it this way on his car than on Joe's? Yes, because this car where it's mounted at is more exposed to rocks. And a rock will go right through the aluminum line. Oh, where okay. on Joe's car, everything's tucked up and hidden and a rock should never ever get to it to where this thing here is totally exposed. Okay. Hey man, so y'all see Darius' car got oil pressure. He running, he getting some other little knickknacks buttoned up. Um, so the next step, y'all gotta stay tuned to the video, man. But the next step, we finna go to the next place, which is paint and body, y'all. So y'all see what's going on. We trying to make it outside next year, man. And I'll give y'all the update on Big Lip Tasia because there's actually been a lot going on with her too. But this video is about Darius's car. So tell me what y'all think in the comments. If the bill's coming along nice, it ain't finally tuned. So do not get to talking stuff about how it sounds. It's not the final tune. That's a brand new motor that Darius literally built himself. Every bolt, every screw, the, uh, the rotating assembly, everything. The only thing he did was take the block to the machine shop. He put everything in there, torqued it down the spec and everything. 
and it's running smooth ain't nothing knocking ticking banging against each other hey put in the comments how he did man his vision is coming to light i'm just happy that i'm here to help facilitate that as well you know what i'm saying so go ahead like this video comment this video and subscribe and we out